out here. Back up in Saratoga Springs, New York. Actually, right now I'm in Boston Spa and started my day with a 21.4 mile bike ride with Jack Kenyon. It was great. Uh, my maximum speed was only 30.85 miles per hour today. I've had no food. I've had two liters of water so far today, but it's going to be a busy day. I have a uh, I have a lecture performance book signing at 2 p.m. at Jazzage, and then uh, we were going to some picnic where at Millie and Vincent Co. where the whole orchestra is invited. So I think Teresa and I are going to stop at Four Seasons and have some lunch before the signing, but I'm going to try to do better than I did last week by not consuming more calories than the human body needs. Uh, last week I broke my own rule. I ate too many calories and I felt a big difference. And it's important, a low caloric intake is the secret behind the Okinawa Centenarian study. And I've read studies about rats, flies, mice, rabbits. If they cut their caloric intake, they double their lifespan, even later in life. So you want to double your lifespan, you want to stay healthy, reduce your caloric intake. So we'll keep you posted throughout the day. So the day continues. After this morning's bike ride, I'm gonna eat my first food in 14 hours. Now, over at Four Seasons, health food and cafe, and place is great, but this week I'm gonna not consume more calories than my body's able to handle. So let's head into Four Seasons, and then we have the book signing in about uh, about 70 minutes. So today I uh, have a very special event. Uh, this is Carol Daggs. And Carol, how long have we gone back? We knew each other from Hartwick how long ago? So like 91. 91. That's scary. So at, uh, Hartwick. That's scary. Summer this is 91. Festival. So we go back a long ways together and we've since reconnected because Carol lives in Saratoga and I'm here during the summer and I think you tracked me down a few years ago and said hello, remember? Yes. And it was like, wow, Carol. So Carol now runs a massage therapy. Tell us about Jazzage. Yes, it's I have Jazzage Massage Therapy, a wellness studio. And I offer therapeutic massage therapy services uh, by appointment. So if anyone's interested, right. they can call me. Okay, I'm, scheduled appointment. I'm definitely going to be a client here. So uh, anyway, today we're going to do a signing for approximately 12 people. And I'm going to do a presentation. I'm going to play the cello and then maybe a little signing. So thank you so much for setting thank this you. up. Thank you. And uh, Carol, you're great. Thank you. And thank uh, you. Yeah, so anyway, we'll, we'll see how it goes today. Okay, thank you. Found any time in your schedule to be here with us. We are pleased to host Bob Guthero. A cellist with the Philadelphia Orchestra and he'll be sharing his book when the music stopped and if you would like to have it signed he'll be able to do that uh, while you're here and uh, we get to hear him play a little bit which is a special treat so I'm, I'm meeting both new and you know of course acquainting with folks that I already know so I hope if there's someone you didn't meet yet you'll get to do that while you're here so welcome and thank you so much for being here today. So, Bob. Thank you, Carol. Thank you for having me here and for hosting this event thank today. Uh, Carol and I go thank back you. since 1991, is that right? Yes. Scary. So we, we've known each other, uh, I guess, 26 years, and we lost touch for a while. And then one day out of the blue, I got a message from Carol that she lives in Saratoga, and we hooked up. and. Uh, we made this happen today, so thank you. So glad to have yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. And Melissa, I uh, haven't seen you since, what are we, 89, 90? Right, yeah, yeah, probably I didn't see when you met Carol a little bit. Before right, and these that. are our so, days yeah. back at Hartwick, yeah, the Summer Hartwick Music yeah. Festival, right? Yeah. So, yeah, times have changed. Wow. So, thank you all for coming. Um, let's see, as Carol said, I'm, I'm a cellist with the Philadelphia Orchestra, and I'm about to, at the end of this week, I'll have finished <coughs> 32 seasons with the Philadelphia Orchestra. So it's been quite a journey, uh, but Carol had mentioned the book that I wrote, 
And the reason I wrote a book was uh, I experienced something that I never believed I would, and that basically is a, an incurable illness, something that uh, would be debilitating. And in December of 1998, I started getting numbness in my right leg, and it was very strange, and then I started limping, and I didn't think much of it, and then... great day comes to a close. It was terrific. Started with a 21.4 mile bike ride, then uh, ate lunch with Teresa at Four Seasons Health Food Cafe. Then I had a two o'clock book signing where I gave a lecture presentation and that was at um, Jazzage in Saratoga Springs with Carol Daggs, who I've known for many years and I got to see uh, people there, I got to meet people that I've basically built relationships uh, on with social media. And then you finally get to meet these people. And that's one of the things I think I love most about the book signings is meeting these people that you've gotten to know online through messages, conversations. And uh, then we went to a picnic at the home of Vincent and Millie Coe in uh, Queensbury, New York. And it's just been an amazing day. And I think... It's time to relax a little. Here's a book I just picked up by Andrew Carnegie by David Nassau. It was, uh, I just saw this at the, uh, at the library sale here and I picked it up. I've written, I've read Andrew Carnegie's biography by Wall and this one's supposed to be great. So tonight I'm going to settle down and do a little reading about a pretty fascinating individual. So thank you and uh, it was a great day.